On behalf of BizTimes Media and our event partners and sponsors, welcome to the 17th Annual Commercial Real Estate and Development Conference. It's an exciting time for Milwaukee. However, has Milwaukee really arrived? If so, where do we go from here? Our keynote speaker, Michael Perman, will share his perspectives on how we can train our minds to perceive what is coming over the horizon. I think Milwaukee is such a wonderful place. You know, the roots here are fabulous. The people here are great. You have lots and lots of water. You understand what it means to work. I think the opportunities here are, are fantastic uh, for the city to just you know, sort of come alive. When we work for the new in search of transformation, we do so in a, in a collective way. We walk with the energy of those around us and we add our own. You are all catalysts, change makers, and creative thinkers. And you can do that. You can walk with the energy of the people around you and add your own. And in so doing, you become mediums of what is possible. You become champions of what is perceived to be impossible, but because you have the ability to see what's coming next, that it is possible for you. I've asked all the panelists to start in a very unique way, to bring, uh, to, bring to the table for you a photo that uh, they can describe how it represents the opportunity that Milwaukee is facing from a real estate perspective. This is a powerful room, and I believe that real estate has the power for social change, and you see amazing projects get done in Milwaukee, and they reflect the power of this room. They reflect your life experiences, they reflect your decision making, they reflect your leadership, and they reflect white men. And that's not a criticism, that's a reflection of our industry, which is roughly 95% white male, if you just look around this room. And it influences what projects get done. And I think that I look at real estate as a tool for social change in the parts of the city we always talk about as secondary parts. For me, they're not separate. There is one Milwaukee, and there's a significant part of Milwaukee we always refer to as the part that holds us back. And those are the parts where we can use real estate for social change. What you're looking at here is people who did do work at 35th and Fond du Lac. Um, so I think it's interesting to talk about the role of women and people of color in our industry when we think about how to have an effective future. That is Chicago on the bottom of that screen and Milwaukee above it. I love living here. I love working here. I'm not naive. I recognize our challenges and problems. But the real opportunity, in my opinion right now, is not just in attracting companies. That will never change. It's in attracting people for the sake of lifestyle. And uh, with a commercial coming up in 2020 that the whole world will see, we have an opportunity to make this a place that people want to live and be in. And that's the greatest opportunity for changing the world. What other picture would I bring other than Sears development, the icon? We've had some amazing development happen in Milwaukee over the last 20, 25 years, we've seen it. But how do you have that great development and the numbers on the scoreboard are still the same? How do you have some of the best minds in Milwaukee building some of the best developments Milwaukee's ever seen and at the end of the day, you still have the same score on the scoreboard. Developers are like doctors. We're the doctors of the built environment. Right? That's our job is to fix things, solve issues, solve problems through brick and mortar, through economic development. So how do we drive all of this energy, all this greatness that we have downtown in other parts of the city, how do we drive it to other neighborhoods? Because at the end of the day, what you will see is you will see those numbers on the scoreboard start to change in our favor. If we want Milwaukee to become attractive to the employers that are currently uh, involved in a uh, relationship with larger cities than Milwaukee, we need to solve for all of the parts and pieces that make Milwaukee the place where employers want to come. That means we need to have the quality of life for people, but it means we have to hit the north side of our city and the south side of our city with economic expansion and investment that allow those communities to stronger and until we can figure out how to tap into the workforce that we have available here and create opportunity across that workforce we will be held back and employers won't look at us as favorable to those larger cities or in some cases even smaller cities 
We have to holistically look at how we make Milwaukee more attractive to those same employers that will drive the type of economic expansion and population growth that we need as a city. I too would like to thank Andy and all the panelists uh, for their participation in today's program. Julie, Kaylin, Blair, Steve, and Michael, thank you very much.